Hello everyone and welcome to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. In the past with X-Plane, if you've made any changes to joystick or keyboard preferences, they were globally applied to all aircraft. Big changes since the update to 11.10 has enabled this new feature where you can create as many joystick and keyboard profiles as you want and assign them individually to aircraft or to specific genres of aircraft. And it's absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how that works. The first thing that we'll do is select settings and then we'll click on the joystick tab. You can see under devices that I have the CH Products Eclipse Yoke and Pro Pedals. At the time of taking the update to 11.10, anything that was plugged in or not plugged in was written to the active profile called the user profile down below. So since I was flying a Cessna 172 last, this is already configured for general aviation aircraft. So let's go down to the bottom, save this as a new profile, and let's tag it GA for general aviation. At a minimum, I recommend that we create two profiles, one for GA type aircraft and one for airliners. So let's go ahead and do this again, but call it AL for airliner. So perhaps what was the prop on a GA would be speed brakes on the airliner. So that's a very simple change, but you can go in and configure any particular button on your joystick that you would like. And you can even do it for keyboard. So if I select the keyboard tab at the top, I can have specific buttons on the keyboard for general aviation aircraft and airliner as well. So just take that into consideration that both joystick and keyboard are linked together on that same active profile. So if we go back to joystick here and I switch from AL to GA, you can see here prop. And then if I go back to AL, it goes to speed break. So that's pretty simple. And then really that's all there is to it. There's one other feature. If I go to manage profiles, I can delete these profiles by selecting the minus here and selecting delete, but we'll just hit cancel for now. And I can even go ahead and assign this profile to a genre or to a specific aircraft. So let's say for the airliner, I want this to be set for AL. And now for general aviation, I want that to be set to GA. So now anytime I hop into a general aviation aircraft, I'm going to automatically be set up for the way I want. And anytime I hop into an airliner, I'll automatically be set up the way I want. And if I had a specific setting, maybe the X737-700 has a slightly different configuration, I could create another profile and go into that particular box and put that to the specific profile for that plane. So you can get really creative and it's really nice that X-Plane will remember this. So the next time you get into the aircraft, it's already ready for you. So that was a really fast tutorial on joystick and keyboard profiles. It's part of the new 11.10 feature update. I hope you take this update right away because not only does it give you joystick and keyboard profiles, it gives numerous other features such as the G1000 glass cockpit and new art assets and so on and so on. So this was a short tutorial on using joystick and keyboard profiles as part of the 11.10 update. I hope you learned something from this video and subscribe, and I'm interested in any other videos that you think I should be creating. And in the comment box below, I'm interested in whether or not I should buy an Oculus Riff or a HTC Vive to get ready for the new X-Plane 11.20 VR update. I'm really interested in virtual reality, but I haven't decided on which particular model to get, the Vive or the Rift. So if you have any insights, I'd love to hear from you in the comments box below.